Hello everyone, and welcome back to Okami. On um, the last episode, we confronted the twin demons, Lechku and Nechku, but they escaped. Uh, we did acquire gear, though, that would, I guess, help us reach the other shrine uh, to which they escaped. Not sure exactly, but uh, here we are. A lot of cannons around here. And I see some big, obvious fuses. So I assume I'm supposed to, like, wait for them to line up. Good. <laughs> I'm glad. Alright. Let's try that again. Okay, good. I think that should hit the one. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Is there a way for me to get them spinning again? No. I think this one's gonna get blocked by the ice thing, right? Oh, no, I guess it doesn't matter. Alright, great. Now what? Oh, now these fuses are spent. Okay. I think I screwed it up. Um, okay, now what? Owie. What? Ow. Okay, alright. Okay. There we go. It's a little awkward, but we did it. Did I did I have to blow up all of them? I bet I I I did for the sake of not getting absolutely overwhelmed by explosions, but still mission accomplished. Ah, a ball. Okay. Where do I... Where do I bring this? Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. going well. Uh. Why are so many things just invincible? How did that one work, but the other ones didn't? I don't know. I don't understand. That could have gone better. Oh well. Um, okay. So I guess let's bring it through the door. What is going on there? Oh! What? Um, all right, great. This could be something of a problem. Am I just supposed to use this as like a portable source of ice then? Oh no, oh no, ah! Well, that could have gone better. That also could have gone better. Alright, good. 
freight. Less good. Oh, at least I still have the, uh, the arrow. There we go. That went a lot smoother. It must really suck to just, like, sit there as a lock for thousands of years, and then just one day, for no apparent reason, you just get stabbed in the eye and die. Sweet. Is that Oki up ahead? Guess let's find out. So it is. How you feeling, buddy? How'd you get here so quick? Actually, I owe it to that wolf and his little friend. A punkle appeared after you left and told me to go help Amaterasu. So that was the wolf's companion you were talking about, right? That wolf really seemed to perk up when that punkle appeared. It looked like the wolf had recovered somewhat. I sensed they had a bond, a bond that made me feel they'd be okay. So I left them and came rushing here. Uh, but enough talk for now. I take it that uh, if you're here, those demons must be somewhere up ahead. Well, Amaterasu, will you fight alongside me? Uh, yeah, let's go. Grant us your divine power. So I guess we're not going to have Shiranui here to help us out with our super OP abilities then. So this is where those bird brains went. They're trying to hide while they lick their wounds. We can't let these infernal contraptions get away this time. I don't think we have enough energy to chase them down again. Them? Get away again? <laughs> no prey has ever eluded my trusty Denkomaru more than once. Nor my own. Oh. He's on fire now. Good. I'm glad. I guess that's the divine power. Interdasting. Um, okay. So now... Nope, that didn't help. Can I set them on fire? No. He's got an egg? What is happening here? Oh, that's just a, a giant grenade, I guess. Alright. Oh, thanks, I guess. Uh, can I, can I hit him? Oh, good. He was carrying a wooden bear, I guess. supposed to be doing here exactly? Now Amaterasu, pull me back like an arrow and fire me at those demons. I will pull them down to the ground. Amaterasu, don't hold back. Uh, you'll have to, uh, okay, gotcha. I think I have to hold it. Okay, alright.
Oh, darn it. So I guess I just have to kind of like counter their stuff for a little bit and then eventually they'll get stunned. Really wants me to focus on... oh, never mind. I was gonna say, it really seems to be focusing me on the gold one. But, uh, nope, not anymore. That's bad. Uh, Alright. Oh, shoot. Oh my god, if only someone could have foreseen that the twin demons would do the same move in quick succession. Oh! Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Okay. One down. I, I hope. He certainly seems to be down for the count. Oh, I see. He's like pulling stuff out of his hat. change my camera very much vertically so it's hard for me to place those bombs I know I can make them bigger or smaller to change the distance but aside from that I don't really know how to control that very well come on it does seem a little a little finicky Block that. Duly noted. Ah, nice circle. Still works though. Yeah, I, I find that drawing stuff is a little finicky. I bet it'd be a little easier with the control sticks, because it moves a bit slower. I don't know, maybe I should just... Oh, I tried turning down the sensitivity, and it didn't work. Oh, well. Nothing I can't handle, obviously, but slightly annoying. But anyway, we did it! We killed Le Lechku and Nechku. The twin demons which had suddenly awoken atop Ezofuji and tried to lay waste to the land of Kamui were defeated. They disappeared in a burst of petals thanks to Oki and Amaterasu. However, a giant cloud, black as night, cast a shadow on the scene. Blight, Ninetales, the twin demons Lechku and Nechku, the souls of each were swept into the cloud as it moved. It drifted towards the Ark of Yamato at the bottom of Lauchi Lake. The Ark of Yamato is beckoning all of the world's darkness within. Tuskel's words echoed ominously, awakening Amaterasu's heart. 
All the sacrifices, all the life lost in the name of good. Was it in vain? Shiranui, Amaterasu's 100-year-old incarnation, was fatigued and exhausted by the intense battle. However, when Shiranui noticed the glow of Oki's sword, Kutone, a sly smile seemed to crease the wolf's tired lips. Satisfied with this bright glimmer of hope, Shiranui struggled to rise and put every last ounce of strength into passing through Ishaku's gate back in time, back home. As Amaterasu and Isun looked on, they were fully aware that Shiranui headed back into the face of danger to the battle with Orochi. After saving Nagi from the clutches of death and aiding, the, aiding them in their own quest, Shiranui would die a hero, marking the beginning of the legend of Orochi. As Ishaku left the scene, his eyes betrayed the sort of toughness one exhibits when preparing for a grave event. Sweet! Sun Fragment. You obtained Sun Fragment. No, no, no. You can read, I can't. Bork? Yeah, it didn't go so great, but still, 120,000 yen. Uh, defeat the twin demons Lechka and Nechku. Excellent. Of course. Uh, yeah. Amaterasu and the others returned to the foot of Ezofuji, where they saw Lika praying intently. The storm had subsided. Then, as if to celebrate their hard-won victory, the twin volcanoes of Ezofuji erupted in great pillars of flame. The villagers felt the warmth on their skin and wept tears of joy. However, Oki merely surveyed the scene stoically, remaining silent. Although the evil demons had been driven away, the thought of having taken the sword and caused so much grief weighed heavily on his heart. The only one who could ease the burden of his woes was Samako. The chieftain who had rescued uh, Kemu from the shrine stepped forward. Silently, he approached Oki, offering an outstretched hand. His eyes betrayed the complexity of the emotions behind the gesture. His eyes that are hidden behind a mask? Oki, realizing the gravity of the scene, extended his arm in return. The moment they shook hands, Webkir was reborn into a village far too strong to ever fall victim to evil again. As for Kutone, the sword that vanquished the twin demons, it was returned to its pedestal by Oki's own hands. And as long as the glow remained, no evil dared draw close. Kutone's gleam spoke of a power too great to succumb to evil. At that moment, a brilliant flash of light shot forth from Kutone, striking squarely on the frozen surface of Lauchi Lake. Though the lake had never shown any sign of melting, cracks began to open up along its surface. The legend of the Iron Ark Yamato, said to have fallen from heaven, and the holy Lauchi Lake in which it called home, was revealed to be more than a mere legend before all those present. Spoopy. What's with the uh the doom portal above it? Interesting. Ah, I see. Okay. Um I don't I don't know how close it seems like we're getting towards the end. 
Which is surprising, because I could have sworn we fought Orochi at least one more time. That seems not to be the case. Um, but in any case, I think this episode will probably end up being a little short, uh, shorter than they have been in recent, like for the last couple episodes. But given that we are just now about to start uh, heading towards the Ark of Yamato itself, possibly the last dungeon in the game, I think this is probably a good place to call it. And on the next episode, we'll actually enter the Ark and see what lies within it. So until then, see you later.